It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So today, Proposition 15, the California Fair Elections Act. I'm reading the wrong thing. Okay. Uh, how am I going to do this? One second, please. Your call is very important to us, so please stay on the line. One second, please. Your call is very important to us, so please stay on the line. Ah, I'll do this. Ah, oh, very good. Repeals ban on public funding of political campaigns creates a voluntary system for candidates for Secretary of State to qualify for a public campaign grant if they agree to limitations on spending and private contributors. Each candidate does demonstrating enough public support would receive the same amount. Participating candidates would be prohibited from raising or spending money beyond the grant. There would be strict enforcement and accountability funded by voluntary contributions and a biennial fee on lobbyists, lobbying firms, and lobbyist employers. Fiscal impact, increased revenues, mostly from charges related to lobbyists, totaling over $6 million every four years. These funds would be spent on public financing for campaigns of Secretary of State candidates for the 2014-2018 elections. Ley de California de Elecciones Equitativas deroga la provisión del financiamiento, financiamiento de campañas políticas con fondos públicos. Crea un sistema voluntario para que los candidatos a secretario de Estado cumplan con los requisitos para recibir un subsidio de campaña pública si acuerdan cumplir con límites de gastos y de contribuciones del sector privado. Cada candidato que demuestre tener suficiente apoyo público recibirá el mismo monto. Los candidatos participantes tendrían prohibido recaudar o gastar fondos que superarán el monto del subsidio. Habría estricto acatamiento y rendición, rendición de cuentas, financiado con contribuciones voluntarias y por una cuota bienal co cobrable a los cabil cabilderos a las firmas de cabildeo, cabildeo y a los empleadores, empleadores de cabilderos. Impacto fiscal. Mayores recaudaciones procedentes principalmente de los cargos relacionados con los cabilderos que ascenderían, ascenderían, ascenderían a más de 6 millones de dólares cada cuatro años. Estos fondos se gastarían en el financiamiento público de las campañas electorales de los candidatos a secretario de Estado en las elecciones de 2014 y 2018. Man, my Spanish just gets worse every election. It's very sad. So, what all that means is, if you're running for Secretary of State in 2014-2018, that you would have to abide by these special financing rules and you would not be able to put in all this money to uh, pay for your election campaign, you would have to follow these special rules. And the money that you get would technically be public money, money paid for by lobbyists. So this is kind of a way to, it's like you're painting over the rust created by lobbyists and hoping that the problem goes away. So California State President AARP, President of California Business Association, Executive Director of California Church Impact. President of League of Women's Vote, Women Voters of California, President of California Clean Money Campaign, Executive Director of California Common Cause, I like it. Uh, Commissioner of the Fair Political Practices Commission, uh, Executive Director of California Seed Advocates League, President of California Manufacturers and Technology Association, and President of the Los Angeles Police Protective League are against it. The people for it are saying things like, the amount of money in politics is corrupting the system, and when you consider how much money Meg Whitman has spent in running for governor, it makes sense. The people that are saying not to vote for it are saying that it's a trick. It's saying that it doesn't stop special interest money and that there's all kinds of loopholes and that it raises taxes. Well, whenever someone tells me that the reason I shouldn't do something is because it's going to raise taxes, that tells me that they either don't agree with what I believe in or they're just running out of things to talk about because you can always say something's going to raise taxes. I mean, you're just blindly saying things. And so I'm going to vote yes on 15. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.